Dwayne Rinald Sims. I'm the founder. My name is Dwayne Rinald Sims. I'm the founder of the Negro League Legends Hall of Fame. Next year, we celebrated the 100th year anniversary of the founding of the Negro National League by Ruth Foster. And we're going to start first here, February 11, 2020, in Prince George's County, recognizing the contribution of baseball within our community, where we had a couple players actually play for the Washington Homestead Graves back in 1940. Sonny Randall and also James Potts Tillman, I called him. So we're looking forward to this coming up, and I appreciate you seeing you there. Why is the recognition that you just recently got, why is that so significant? Well, it's so important now that now that I represent the Foster family, uh, both Foster, Ruth Foster, and his brother, William Foster, are both in the National Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. And all next year, 2020, Major League Baseball, everybody will be celebrating and recognizing him as the father of black baseball, who we founded in 1920. Tell us his name again. His name is Andrew Rue Foster, the founder and father of black baseball. Why is he considered the founder and father of black baseball? Well, before there was any organization of baseball, prior to 1920, we had independent leagues, different leagues playing without structure within our community. So finally, uh, baseball itself in American baseball history, they have recognized him as the first one to organize black professional baseball. Even I don't agree with that because we've always been organized. Boo Foster back in 1910 played for the Chicago American Giants. Also, he was one of the great pitchers then, and they were playing organized baseball at that time also. Outstanding. Tell us about your contribution and what is happening with your trip, your national yes. trip that you're about to take. What is happening is, I'm so glad to be interviewed by here, my dear magazine here, Prince George's Suite. And one thing is I'm announced now, we're doing our national tour next year. We're kicking off in the Prince George's County to the nation's capital, and then to Birmingham, Alabama, March the 2nd, because all over the United States, they'll be celebrating, even in the American baseball, Major League Baseball will be recognizing the contribution to people of color to the baseball history of American history, and I really look forward to them. Congratulations. Thank it's been a long time coming. Thank I'm you. Proud of you and so happy for you. I'm so happy. You've always been supportive of us for the Negro League Legends Hall of Fame, and we could not exist without the black community.